Good morning. Welcome to Inside Talk Show. Inside Talk Show, it's an inside job. I'm Carl Elizondo, continuing the reading Path to Prosperity from James Allen, Chapter 2, The World, a Reflex of Mental States. We were reading yesterday that whatsoever you harbor in the inner, innermost chambers of your heart will, sooner or later, by the inevitable law of reaction, shape itself in your outer life. So whatever you get in emotionally involved with in your heart of hearts or your subconscious mind will by law shape itself in your outer world. The soul that is impure, sordid and selfish is gravitating with unerring precision toward misfortune and catastrophe. The soul that is pure, unselfish and noble is gravitating with equal precision toward happiness and prosperity. Where are you headed? Do you see prosperity and goodness and opportunities opening up? Or do you see misfortune, catastrophe, and things you just don't like? And it's okay, we all get into different streams of the river, so to speak, the downstream where things just seem to be going wrong, or the upstream, upstream things just seem to be going right. In my own personal life, I remember the upstreams were far and few between. Now, that's the stream I'm always on. If I'm ever on the downstream, that's the rarity. Switch it around so that life is truly good all the time. The better it gets, the better it gets. When something goes wrong, it's like, ooh, got to check in. That's the exception to the rule when something bad happens. I used to believe, I was raised to believe, that life is crap, life sucks, it's hard. And when good things happen, you better catch it while it lasts. That's the exception to the rule. That's no way to live. It's a very, and people live that way. They truly believe because it's true. It's true as the sky is blue, life's tough. But if you change the way you're thinking, if you break out of old conditionings, the way your parents taught you and their parents taught you, remember where you come from. A lot of us are first generation from immigrants who really suffered. Our parents, the boomers, I was talking to somebody yesterday, they've had it rough. They didn't have the luxury of choice of really working on themselves going inside and doing this work so don't live by their rules it doesn't work it might work for them but are they happy the soul that is impure sordid and selfish is gravitating with unerring precision toward misfortune and catastrophe and the soul that is pure unselfish and noble is gravitating with equal precision toward happiness and prosperity Every soul attracts its own, and nothing can possibly come to it that does not belong to it. To realize this is to recognize the universality of divine law. This is so important. It is none of our business what other people's lives consist of. Of course, if they're out, you know, causing serious harm. Of course, we take action, but you know what I'm saying. The way they choose to live, the way they choose to think, the way they choose to vote, it's none of our business. It's none of my business. It's none of your business. Remember, we're all the same. Everybody's just trying to do their best, you know, putting their pants on one foot at a time, one leg at a time. Everybody just wants love. Everyone wants to feel important. Trust me. That's something that I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to see working with people every day. You know, I mean, right now, mostly I'm working with people therapeutically, but it just every single day it reaffirms that we're all the same. We struggle with the same things. Everybody truly, truly does have goodness in their heart. They really do. We all just want the same thing, the best for us and the best for our family to get all the gifts out of us and reach our full potential. Every single person you look at. Today, I want you to know they have the same hopes and dreams you do. They've been through challenges just like you have, maybe even worse. Just loving everybody. Don't let illusions of these surface beliefs get in the way. That's not the truth. That's the illusion. That's the matrix, so to speak. Whatsoever. Okay, so the soul. Okay, every soul attracts its own and nothing can possibly come to it that does not belong to it. To realize this is to recognize the universality of divine law. Okay, we'll read one more paragraph. The incidents of every human life, which both make and mar, are drawn to it by the quality and power of its own inner thought life. Let me read that again. 
the incidents of every human life, yours, mine, everything that happens, the incidents, which both make and mar, which are good and bad, are drawn to it by the quality and power of its own inner thought life, of our own inner thought life. So those things that make or break us, it's a choice if it's going to break us or make us. I'm sure everybody, everybody could get on board with that. The hardest thing you've ever been through. If you make a decision in that moment, is this going to make me or is this going to break me? Like a breakup, ooh, thems are tough. Is it going to make you or break you? Of course you're going to be fine. Everybody is lovable. You have to love yourself first. We're meant to connect. We're meant to be with each other. If it's something you want in your heart, you're going to get it. It's okay. What did you learn from that relationship? It didn't define you. Don't let it define you. The incidents of every human life, which both make or break, are drawn to it by the quality and power of its own inner thought life. Every soul is a complex combination of gathering experiences and thoughts, and the body is but an improvised vehicle for its manifestation. We'll end on that. This body is just a vehicle. I am not my body. I have a body. I am an infinite, energetic, spirit, soul, whatever you want to call it. I am vibration. I am just effervescent. If you've ever been around me, <laughs> I've always been like that. We all are, though. But it's how loud are we? How, how, how vibed up? How tuned up are we? It's different at different times. And everybody has their own essence, their own stamp. Some peoples are so graceful and powerful and peaceful and feel so good. Some are loud and vibrant and charismatic. And we like them at different times, but everybody has something to offer. So remember, this is just this vehicle. Our body, this physical matter of us is just the vehicle to contain the energy that it's it's the energy goes through. It's the conduit. It's the conduit. I am the lamp. And the light comes through me. I am the faucet. Well, my body's the faucet. And the water comes through me. That soul and that spirit that I'm connected with, that I am one with. I am not the source, but I am a source. There's such good things. I mean, a million things I want to say. But when it talked about our mind, our thoughts create our experience. And don't let this outside world dictate. There's a lot of popular talk about the matrix. Don't be caught in the matrix. Remember, everything outside is the matrix. Everything. I was looking up the word matrix. It actually means womb. Mother. It's like derived from mother or womb. And that's in you. You are a point. You are a matrix. So if you're unhappy with the matrix, uh, you better look inside. It has nothing to do outside. There's a lot of people that get together and angry, like you're in the matrix, you're in the matrix. It's like, first of all, you shouldn't be concerned with anybody else's matrix, yours. And if you think, if someone's telling you, come on, get out of the matrix, oh, be careful what they're dragging you into. Matrix is the womb, it's in you. You are that divine center. Everything outside of you is incidental. And none your biz, essential, inside, your own personal matrix. What does it look like? What does it feel like? Do you like it? If you don't like whatever matrix you're in, it's you're the source. You're the cause. Don't blame anybody else. Don't blame establishments, schools, communities, governments. You are in charge of your own personal matrix. You are that divine center. Don't blame anybody. Take responsibility. It's work, but it feels so good. Don't put your happiness, your dreams into other people's hands. Anybody outside of you, even close family members, even your husband or wife. Be strong. I hope you enjoyed that. I love these readings. I love James Allen. This, if you're watching this whole video, it's on YouTube, obviously. But uh, yeah, I'll be posting daily. 
Instagram is being a little wild, so I'm happy to be back on this YouTube and adding to this library, this repertoire. As always, if you have any questions, please message me or schedule a free consultation and join me, study with me. I would love to meet you and let's just make our dreams happen. Have a wonderful day. Happy Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow.